Yeah, so October 2021, market update for Metro Vancouver. Well, if we didn't think that the Vancouver market was hot enough, well, it got hotter. <laughs> and um, yeah, so home sale activity in Metro Vancouver remained above historical averages for the month of October, while the overall supply of homes for the sales dipped yeah. to levels not seen in for three years. So it has been a wild one and it continues to get even more wild. Um, October sales were 22.4% above the 10 year October sales average and sales are continuing to outpace inventory coming on the market, which is resulting in less available homes on the market. So as you guys have probably seen, there is not as much inventory as there typically is traditionally in years prior. Um, and that's interesting because uh, the rental availability I've discovered also is at an all-time low. Um, so while rental rates have also reached an all-time high right now, there is limited inventory. Uh, this is basically fueled by an influx of students returning to school, young professionals migrating from other provinces. I've talked to a few this evening. <laughs> so we know a lot of people are coming over here to BC think probably COVID had something to do with that, being able to work remotely. So a lot of people migrating to BC, uh, which makes sense. It's so beautiful here. We got the mountains, we have the ocean. It's gorgeous, um, myself included from Alberta. Am I gonna be going back? Probably not. I really, really like it here. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so rents rose an average of 10 cents per square foot during this past quarter and unit availability dipped 7.8%. So that's quite big. I'm gonna go switch over into the uh, market update here. So I'm gonna share the screen, which should work. <laughs> and look at Metro Vancouver here. So October 2021. So when we're looking at October 2021, total active listings that we had was 3,511. 3, and uh, compared to last year, we had uh, 4,700. So it actually dipped by 25% for total active listings. So it kind of coincides with what I was saying before that we do have less inventory that's on the market right now. Um, and then also sales as well. We had 1,102 last year, this year, 1,350. Average days on market um, has also decreased. That probably goes along with the fact because we have limited inventory right now um, and supply is limited, whereas demand is quite high. We are still, as you know, in a seller's market. Um, so that also dipped 17.9%. Uh, um, however, the MLS uh, benchmark price for detached properties, it did rise by 20.5%, uh, which, you know, makes sense because we are more in that seller's market, limited inventory. Condos, 2021, uh, 3802, um, whereas this is, this is really interesting. Uh, in 2020, we had 6,500 or 656. So that's a decrease of 42.9%. That's, that's quite a bit. Um, so total sales, uh, 1803, <clears throat> excuse me, and then 2020, 1568. So that increased by 15%. Average days on market did, uh, did decrease by six days from last year to this, uh, which is 19.4%. And average uh, HPI benchmark price on MLS last year was 681, uh, whereas this year it's 746. So it did rise by overall, this is overall in Metro Vancouver. I mean, we can always dissect each one of the communities, but overall by 9.5%. Um, townhomes. So townhomes uh, kind of coincides with uh, both the detached as well as the condo. It, <laughs> this skyrocketed, it was, it last year, was 1,529 that was on the market. And then this year, only 712 for towns. So it, yeah, definitely not a lot of inventory right now that's on the market um, in comparison to last year at this time. And sales, however, 
Um, you know, last year there were 620, 77, and then this year 501 average days on market. I actually thought that it would have been a little bit less than that, given the limited inventory, but um, average days on market 21 in comparison to last year, which is 29. So average uh, sale price for townhomes is 975,000, whereas last year it was 822. So that was an increase of 18.5%. And yeah, I mean, this is the sales to active ratio here. Really, you can see that we're still in that upward trajectory, kind of hit that low down here, which was in July, June, that timeline. And then as you can see, as we went into our fall, um, traditionally speaking, we do go into you know, a hotter market. And this just goes to show that we are in that. Now, this is just a quick snapshot as well. Um, on the basically highlights that we have. So for uh, detached, um, average benchmark price uh, 1.85 and total active listings that we had was 3,244 total sales just over a thousand and average days on market 32 townhome once again just to recap average day on market right now 21 um, total sales was 603 active listings 936 and then the benchmark price for a townhome um, in metro vancouver for a townhome to those end of the out there. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, apartments, this, yeah, this is wild. So it's uh, the average price right now is 746,000 for the average condo in Metro Vancouver right now. Um, as well, active listings, um, 3,854, total sales, 1,800. And then once again, average days on market is 25. So, so yeah, like I said, when we didn't think that it could get hotter, welcome October. <laughs> We're rolling into November. So it's, yeah, it's definitely a seller's market. And we are certainly in the upper trajectory still, especially like I had said before, with people migrating from other provinces inwards here. We project for it to continue in that trajectory as things open up, as COVID restrictions lift, as people start to come to Canada. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see where it goes. <laughs>